Hello everybody, Wiggly here, and welcome to Dungeons Defenders 2 Pre-Alpha, as it says, just wait before right beneath me. How are you today? Hope you're fantastic. I just want to um, just, just do, do a little um, first impressions of the Squire, because I love Dungeons Defenders 1 and Dungeons Defenders Eternity. Played at loads, got gold on characters to high levels and everything. But this game, when it came out, I played out quite a bit yesterday, as you can see, I'm almost le level 11. I thought I'd do a little showcase of the Squire and then the Mage and everything else like that. This is the first map that you'll enc encounter on the actual game. This is this is them, the Gates of Dragonfall. It's a pretty, pretty snazzy little um, name, I have to say. But the game itself, though, has been has been really, really good for pre-alpha anyway. But there are some alarming concerns, let's just say. And by alarm concerns, I mean. Alarming. What's that? Just hit me. Mars, he was over there. So the ability to not get mana is one of the massive concerns that I've had on this game so far. And if you have, if you are a pre-alpha player yourself, you probably have the same, you know, the same concerns that I do. That this can't be the game upon release. It, it, it can't be. These guys over here have more range than our turrets, as you can see. It's it's a it's just a few things like that that it's just a bit ridiculous. It's like how does that guy have more range than our turrets? So it's it doesn't make sense. So chests, you can only open one chest per wave by the looks of it, which is not very great. You know, the first one gives gives you the most, 320. Which is what I did, did to make all my turrets now. And then it, it, it goes down. I mean, at the end of it, you might get about 200 per per chest. Here we go. We'll do the build phase now. We'll grab this. Yeah, see that 200 there. We'll be getting flyers in now, so I do need to make a, a bit of adjustment for this. So I need to get them out of the way. So here we are. So, but what I cannot state the most is to get these things upgraded with range as fast as you can. Get them upgraded to, to tier 2. If you don't do that then you will suffer the consequences of not having any range at all. I don't know enough, what do you mean about? I was upgraded to tier 3, that's why. So I want to upgrade one of these to tier 2 well, and that is it. So I'm going to run around and help my defences otherwise we will fall. If I was to go go away to the bathroom for a second, I'll come back. I'll probably be killed. Here we go. So we do have these other little carts here. It's really, really nice. The fire cart, as it says on on the tin. Simple as that. We've got one over here called the ice cart. I tell you not to use this cart much because all it does is what? That's the name and price. Freezes them all. Nope. Nothing very good. There we go, though. Kill these guys, get them down. Got a flyer incoming. Our blister should be able to take him down pretty damn easy. Means they have the tier 2 range. Come on, then, what you got? There we go, then. So, I will show you the tavern after this as well. So, don't worry about that too much. You will get to see the tavern. One thing that I do like about it is when you up upgrade something, as you'll see in a minute, I'm not going to attack, you will. That these actually change their appearance. Really, really smart of that. It actually looks as you see like that's that's tier one. That's tier two. They get bigger. Which is really really nice. Tier three, I'll be lucky if I get every single um a blister of mine to tier three by the end of wave five. I'll try my best, but you know mana is limited right now. I don't know if they're gonna keep it that way or it's just a bug within the game. But most enemies drop one mana, most, some big ones might drop ten if you're lucky, and that is about if you're lucky as well. Right, so that's wave two done. So we're going to do. Oh, I even love to level 11. Go me. I did get anything. My next um, weapon, I believe, is at level 14, which is quite far off. I've been playing this for, as I said, as I said, as I said a couple of hours now, and um, I can't seem to get to level 14 just yet. So let me open up this. Get some more mana. It's not much, but it's mana anyway. I'll upgrade these. We can get more flies and coming. What one needs needs a tier three range more than anything. You haven't got tier one yet, but these ones do need their upgrade tiers as fast as they possibly can. You need that range, otherwise 
You were gonna get killed. I'll use so much more power. No, don't need that. I'll just store my stash for now. Alright, let's, let's get this going. Of course, we'll do the same we did last time. Run around, help help out the tur turrets out a little bit. Especially when you see big waves of lights coming down in this one here. So I'll fire over there for now. I'll get down there and engage that in a minute. I think I missed the nice. Yeah, I did. There we are. Over this way, they seem to be fine that way. The blisters are doing pretty well at that. Yeah. Oh, hello there. We've got a boss. This is this is a rare treat, and on camera as well. This boss doesn't spawn every single match, and for for good reasons as well. He has a lot of health, and he's an absolute pain in the ass. He's a goblin, so I'm going to do want to stun him right here with the with the help of the blisters, which I think you should be able to do is pretty damn pretty damn easy. Come on, baby. There we go. Christ. What did he drop me anyway? He dropped something blue for me. Defense speed, ability, power, and everything else like that. But I need that more than anything because defense speed is like God, really. Especially on the last dun dungeon defenders. Because it's, it's strange. I can't even complete a hard mode right now. I'm currently playing this privately just so I don't get anyone else um, interfering with it, anything. And I get more mana as well, because oh my god! I tell you, I done them. Um, I I done a few queues yesterday, and oh, you're only allowed to open up one chest, as as I said. Even when I'm alone, but now one chest and that's it. That's your that's your limit. And being just being just reduced mana when you're on teams, I was getting I was getting 50 mana on one chest. 50 mana. I could only make one ballista, and that was it. What's one ballista made you up against defending a wave? No, his name is not going to happen, as I say. We were running around like headless chickens trying to get everything done, and it was really difficult to get that done. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to upgrade something to its next tier. Because get my limited mana as well from these chests. There we are. What needs tier 3? you got tier 3. You need tier 3 for the ranges this side. And you two need tier three as well. You not have one yet, okay, Norris? You are then. All right, well, start the match. All right then. So before boss, which I didn't expect to find, it says said they aren't a common thing. Come on, you little slime bags. What you got? I can always just stun these, stun these enemies, big boys, I like that. How about my ballistas a little bit, and myself and my lane. He's dead. Nice. Come on, you. Alright then, so. What we, what's happening now? We've got to push this thing over here a little bit. Come on, what you got? I'm not doing too bad, though. So this should be more than enough defense to get everything done. Yeah, you will fire sometime and kill this guy. You do get a little reward chest at the end of the game, which you will see on the completion of Wave 5. Which is really nice. Just you near know, something else that um, that we all said about on Dungeons Eternia. Everyone in the team said, don't you, um, for doing something like insanity, you know, the, the, the insanity levels, insane levels, where we all had like you know, really good or overpowered characters, we said, don't you, know, why couldn't they, um, they for, for, for doing an hour's worth of survival, why couldn't they spawn a chest in, you know, to you know, to, to reward us? Let's just say, but listen, they've done it for this one though, which is really nice. And the chests do have different tiers as well. You can have a t you have green, blue, and yellow tier, which I've only got on blue once. I've been the rest of it's been greens. Got some guys down here Just trying to shop with down here, getting here. How about, our, how about our defenses a little bit? More defense power, but I lose a lot of speed. A lot of speed. Alright, so what's gonna happen now? I'll open this one. Actually, I'll open another one. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's, they will all be chundered, so it doesn't matter at all. There we go. We should be fine to. Oh, should I can't get rest from the tier 3? I, looks for it, I can. 
My blisters anyway, but not my actual um not my actual um you know, you need it more than anything else. I'll try and repair these as best as I can. Which I should have just enough mana for it. Just enough. See, this is the first stage, and yet, you know, they're only level 6 monsters, and I can only just keep up with it. But if this was a hard mode, which I have tried, and I got annihilated, I really got whooped so hard. But hopefully, though, when I get, like, you, the next available turrets and everything, then maybe it might be a bit easier. Or they just, just released a massive patch for the game. With, with a few, hopefully it is, just, just, just a simple bug fix, as I said. To allow us to have a little, little bit more mana, otherwise this is going to be horrible. See, I wouldn't want to play this on, on, on release. So, come over here. But after this video, though, I'm going to do a, a, a mage, then a huntress, and then the monk. It, just see what they all have to offer, really. And then you. Know, We'll see exactly how many. Well, this is. We'll just see how, just how different different heroes cope on the map. Round around about around about level ten. I think my mage is a level a level eleven so far, but I haven't made the huntress or the monk yet. We do have a couple couple of them hero portraits that are blanked out right now. So hopefully they'll bring back the summoner, or they'll bring back um, YZ. You know he might come back. He was pretty good. He was. Maybe, maybe the Jester will come back and later, later, um, you know, download, download the content, maybe. Hopefully, hopefully she will do, because Jester was awesome. I really, really did like the Jester. That was your, that was your melee character, that was. But I, I like the Summoner more. Cause they, I don't think that was, that was an amazing character myself. Anyway, we've de successfully defended this anyway, but so this was, this is the first level, so. Come on, you were ready. And there we go. Our chest will now spawn. It'll probably be green, but this is how it is. So I've only got blue once, so I won't expect the world from it, let's just say. So purple or legendary, it's gonna be a green. And so oh I've got a Hello there, I got an epic. Huh. I will shut my mouth and shall I? I then let's loot me. This gives you tons of money. And then that at the end. This gives defense power, hero health. I lose hero down, I lose a lot of defense speed, but that can probably be upgraded to, yeah, upgraded to level 4. You know, I'll wear that just because, you know, it's, it's epic. And I fought quite hard to get that, really. I even have some kind of, some of, the, some of the regen as well, but it's really nice. Hey, right, let's just get out of here. Let's just get back to the, to, 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 to the, to the tavern. And we'll have a little, little look around and I'll introduce you to the new NPCs. Right, so here we are, we are back at the tavern. I said this is just private so no one else will be joining us. A lot of things are still under construction as you can see here. So this might be um, something a little bit late. But we'll take you to the NPCs. Over here we have Lily. She's our upgrader. You pretty much what you do, you throw in your item. Or you use the new epic gloves that we got. And then you put other items in here to increase its level really. So we want to try and put... I'm going to put greens in here as best we can, or greens or blues or anything that we've got. So I'll have the bags. That's what we have in here. That's my old blue pair, so I'll put that in there as well. I'll probably give it quite a bit of XP as well. That's just, um, no other blues here at all. I don't believe we have. So it's kind of hard to try and find really, really good items in this game for now. Only for now, though. Just fill up with greens and shall we? Beans, you know, that's also what we actually have. Right, it's upgrade. It costs a thousand, as always, so. Then the you know, little animation will equip them. Yeah, well, I know it's the blue, yeah. And of course, we can skip this animation, but beans, you know, I've seen it. I'll let you guys see it. They just spin around and around and around. It looks pretty funny. And they all get combined in, into our into our epic one, so. So, yay. There it is. Put this in here, and it's max level already, so. What do I want to get on? Get full. Of course, defense power. I need as much power as, as I can, otherwise my defense is going to be absolutely rubbish. So that's Lily. That's uh, that's what she does over here. We have we have the, we have the costumes. This most of it is under construction. So this is where we can probably buy costumes and more DLCs for our our characters. Looks like a really really cool ninja monk one there. 
Over here we have our relic guy, Griffin. Of course, he he sells you the relics. These are all seem these all seem to be um seem to be grey, which isn't very good. I don't know what happened to our pets more than anything else. Though. What happened to our, our, our little pets we used to have over, over our shoulders? The robots and the dragons. I, I used to love them guys. And over here we have Bane. He's our well, he's our weapon guy and the powerful sword, which is actually quite good actually. I'll buy that for myself actually. Yes, I will. That's actually rare. It's actually me to actually buy something off an NPC. That's actually actually good which is amazing right so here we have the tavern keeper you report all your problems to him the bugs for out the um, for out the pre alpha i'm sure he'll do something different when the game com comes back down and of course we have down here we have your target practice machines so we can always just spawn up spawn, spawn our stuff and let them just have fun what are you following that one for I don't know the one right in front of you, I just not know at all, so. Let me sell you then, shall I? I'll just put you over here, Binge. That's the one you want to attack for some random reason. Oh, you attack that one, are you? So he's, 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 he's our little one, so he's not. He's the he's the bulk stand one, but yeah, that's the one you first get, really. I prefer blisters, as always. So then, of course, you, you can't you come across here. You do uh, you do see other characters around the place, like you know, there are these two girls over here. I don't know what they do yet. Maybe you can interact with them later on. I have no idea. Over here, you find you find the secret meeting table. I have no idea what this means. It's just a secret meeting table. You have other pathways to explore as well. I'm guessing this might be opened up l later on. Go into the cellar. You can also go into the barracks as well. And go see the beds and everything, which is just a fun little thing that really. So it's nice to have a little explore around the tavern, see what you can find. But here they are, they they're just over here. And here we are. You even see a nice little picture of us as well. There we are. There's me. There, there's the squire. So <laughs> I could be with, with the captain or our dad. I have no idea. Beans are leveled up. I will show you how to level up on this game as well. You come to the Defenders Forge. You can't do it in game yet. You only do it. When you're in the tavern and you can spec up what you want to do. Gee, I've went for more powerful spears. Because these have a four percent four, four, five percent chance to pierce to pierce through all enemies doing full damage. Which sounds better than anything I would see. Shield strength, which is damage perfection of our shield block, would be do. Fight me not. Your defense deals more damage to enemies that are targeting us. Could be good. You have um Called vengeance, shiny spikes, ripper, um, ripper sites, and all that stuff. So it's just a lot of stuff that no, I don't really care about, really. So yeah, this is my level 11 mage, and see, he's more grown up now as well. But you know, we, we are doing the squire right now. So, but yeah, this is the tavern. This is the, fun, the dungeon defenders 2 pre-alpha. So it is very pre-alpha as well. I think a lot of work still needs to be done on this game. Obviously, it's pre-alpha. But the mana, the mana rate right now has to, it is an issue. I really think it's an issue because even on the later levels when they get a lot harder, I had a team of four, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. We got our ass kicked left, right, and centre. We kept trying and trying and trying. But as soon as like one side fails, then you got to try and leave your lane to to help that lane. Especially if one one of those bosses spawns in the end of the, in the late, later levels, they have like seventy thousand health and they are big. They can annihilate one whole lane by themselves. So we were all trying to defend against that boss, whilst our other lanes were were, were, were being pushed. It, it was a, just a catastrophe, really. We we got slaughtered. But thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the afternoon. Please hit, hit hit the like button. I will be will be playing this more through the alpha stages and the beta stages and everything else, and of course on release as well. It might be quite a while as yet. So, but who knows? You never know. It might get fixed really quick. It might not be. Who knows? Who knows when the what they actually want this game to be at the end of, of development. So. If you want to see more from me on this game and anything else to do with my channel, hit that subscribe button and as always, I will see you on the next one my friends. So until then, see ya.